Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to do some stuff using arguments in views, or as they're called in Views 3, contextual filters. So to do these contextual filters, I'm going to do something kind of interesting, and we're going to do it on a block view. Um, so to give you guys an idea of what we're going to do, I'm going to add a new field to our project, and I want to say who the designer was, because I'm not going to be the designer of all of these projects. I do a lot of just web development for um, other designers or even at um, my job every day. So I want to be able to put up those projects as well because this isn't just um, a site for my freelance work. This is a site for all of my work. So I want to say who the designer was. So I'm going to make a new field that just says field designer. We're going to select, uh, it's going to be a text, uh, where is this? It's just going to be a text field. That's it, no big deal. I'll throw this up here and we'll save this. Okay, so uh, what I want is I want this text, uh, this designer field, I want this to appear in the right column of my projects. Let's go to our project right now. I'll add a designer, but let's just go to any of them. Projects, uh, let's see, find content. Let's go to a project. Uh, let's go to SAS Mastery. Okay, so here's this project that I made. It's a, a video tutorial series I did, SAS Mastery, that um, is on the Tuts Plus Marketplace. So the content I have here is the image for the project. I have a paragraph sort of explaining what SAS Mastery is. And uh, but what I really want is I want the designer to be uh, in a column here. I don't necessarily want it to be in the same zone. So if you remember, if we look at our uh, regions, if we look at our blocks, let's check this out. You know, these are our regions, right? So featured, content, sidebar first. Uh, there's no way you can really say show up in, in the sidebar here, in the sidebar first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a view. And what that view is going to be doing is it's going to be looking at this URL, determining what content piece I'm on, and it's going to display the proper content. Okay? So there are lots of other ways you could do this. Uh, this is a great thing about Drupal is there's all sorts of ways to do anything. So if you already know a way to accomplish this, feel free and do it the way you know how. But this is going to be using contextual filters with views. So let's get started. To get started, I'm actually just going to put in a designer in this, even though this is for me uh, and I designed this. So I'm going to put designer Scott Tolinsky. Okay, cool. Save this. Great. So you can see it shows up right here. Uh, that's not quite where I want it. So let's go into views and we're going to create a new view. And this view is going to be a, a block view. And we're going to just call this, uh, well, the view name is going to be um, project side info. Okay. And the block title, I'm not going to give it a block title. You don't have to. This is just, uh, you know, it's going to show up with nothing if you do. And I only want to want it to display one item per page because that one item is going to be the particular item from this piece of content. So let's continue and edit. Okay, so continue and edit. Here we are. It, right now it's saying, you know, let's see. It's looking for just published stuff and it's going to have a, a title and uh, by default you know, because I said it's only one item, it's just going to be looking at the newest one because our sort criteria by default is by post date. So the most recent thing is SAS Mastery. But if we weren't doing the most recent piece of content here, uh, SAS Mastery would still show up here. That's not what we want. In fact, we want this to show up um, only on the SAS Mastery page. So actually, really quick, let's just change this display name up here just so we can find it. We're going to say um, project side info. I'll apply this and I'm going to save this and then in another tab really quick I'm just going to add this block to the page. Uh, scroll down here in your blocks it should be project left in project side info right here. And we're going to put this on sidebar first and we're going to save this block and actually uh, right here in this configure I'm going to say I only want it to be on pages that are under projects. So. Uh, let's see, sidebar first, and I'm going to say only on the list of pages, and we're going to do projects, enter, and then projects, uh, 
and then they are going to do a forward slash and then an asterisk. And this is saying all of the pages that are underneath projects are going to have this uh, block show up. I actually don't want this to show up on the projects pages uh, specifically because the project page is just going to have all my projects. I want this to show up on the projects, uh, the pages that are within projects. So we're going to save this block. Cool. It's all saved up. And let's actually go to that particular projects page just so you can see that block is there already. So here we have this block. It's a SAS mastery. You know, that's that's cool, but um, if we were to go to a different project, let's go to this Perpetua one, it still says SAS Mastery, right? That's not what we want. So uh, to illustrate this, let's go back to SAS Mastery here, and we're going to want this to be able to say my name, which is cool, uh, which is what we want. But we need to be able to pass in a contextual filter that's basing what piece of content you're on so it knows what to display here. So under the Advanced tab, we're going to click this, and we're going to add a contextual filter. We're going to want to say, uh, what's the contents node ID? And we're going to pull that from the URL. So we're going to look for content. Uh, where, did, where is it here? We got content and then node ID. OK, so this is going to be grabbing the node ID and using this as a contextual filter to show what we wanted to show. Let's click Add it to all displays. And then in here, we're going to have to select some options. Uh, we don't want to display all results for the specified field, but we want to provide a default value. And this default value is going to be uh, one of these options. So what it's going to be is it's going to be the content ID from the URL. So we're grabbing what the content is from the URL, and we're using that to filter out our data so that it's displaying the correct thing. Okay. So that's all we need to do. Let's click Add to All Displays. I'll click Save here. OK, so now if we come down here to our preview, we can update our preview. And you notice nothing's here. It's because we are, have to pass it an argument. Right here, it's asking for what the contextual filter is. And normally, if we're on this page, the contextual filter comes right from this piece of content. But if I hover over this edit, right, it's going to say that this is node number 14. If you look at the very, very bottom of your browser window, uh, it's going to say localhost, whatever, node 14 edit. So we know that this is node number 14. So to test this out, I just want to show you how this works. If we put in 14 here for our contextual filter, that's saying that the node ID 14, uh, it should give us SAS mastery. So as you can see, it's pulling this node ID from the content. Uh, in this case, we're giving it 14. If we gave it something else, uh, I'm sure because there is a 14, there'll be a 13. You can see new site. Uh, if I give it 12, it's going to be something else. OK, journal. OK, great. So let's save this really quick. But first, um, let's add what we actually want to show. We want to show the designer field. We don't want to show the title. So we'll add the field content designer, add to all displays. Uh, yes, I do want this label. Um, okay, and then now let's rearrange this so I can get rid of the title. Remove, add to all displays. Okay, and now let's save this. Cool. Okay, so let's click out of this. Now in our page, we refresh. Okay, designer, Scott Talinsky, that's it. Let's go to another projects page. Uh, I believe uh, before we were on the perpetual one, so let's go back to that one. Um, find content. Okay, on this page, you can see designer. It doesn't have one because we didn't fill in that field yet. So let's click edit designer. I also designed this one, so I'm going to say designer Scott Talinsky. Cool. Let's save this out. Cool. All right, well, there it is. So that is the contextual filters in your blocks. Uh, this is just using the node ID as a contextual filter. These contextual filters uh, offer a lot of options. So this is just an introduction, and, and by no means this is the definitive tutorial on uh, contextual filters here. We're going to be going a lot over uh, contextual filters and how they relate to page views, how they relate to uh, just block views and, and then views in general. So. Feel free to just play around with it, see what you can get. But using this node ID and then grabbing the content ID from the URL is how you're going to be able to display content from your own page that you're on right now, anywhere you please, with blocks and views. Cool. 
All right, well, this is Scott Talensky again with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Uh, more Drupal tutorials on their way soon. Thanks. Bye.